hear and listen and say, well, I, I'm not hydrated. Oh, so I'll just go get any alkalizer, any ionizer. Folks, don't do that. I promise you that as a professional and as someone that can tell the difference, you've got um, a big difference. And when, you know, it's like you do pay for quality. You know that about your cars. You know that about your houses. You know that about... Um, your lives in other ways, why don't we get it about our water? And hopefully you will get that and be able to help your friends get that. Water that is acid is dehydrating. And I almost feel like I have to go do some kind of penance to my clients who I've told them to drink RO water, to drink distilled water because I was actually doing them not any good other than giving them water that didn't have all the chemicals in it. I was giving them positively charged acid water. And then we were having to give them products that had to move the pH and they were having to do more and more raw foods because they couldn't get their pHs to stay alkaline because they were drinking all the wrong kinds of waters. Water that is acid is dehydrating. One of the greatest things you can do with people is go up to them and say, hey, you drinking that water? How long have you been interested in good water? And people that are drinking bottled water care about their water, right? They already are aware that they need to be drinking water and that it's important for them. Water, folks, is not just water. Would you ever drink this water coming out of your left-hand side here? No. Would you drink it coming out of the right, the falls? Yeah, you wouldn't probably have any problem at all with that. Water is not just water. It has a structure. And the structure is very different in water that comes out of polluted areas or tap water or RO water. Ionized water has an ability to change the structure of the water. And your water has its own brain. Even the purest water can still contain vibrational pollution. Even pure bottled water, even pure RO water, has a vibrational pollution of acid. Water's the most programmable substance on the earth. It has a memory. It'll actually contain the energetic signatures of whatever is placed in it. And it stores and transfers this information within the body. This is why we can now replicate that water that is like the hexagonal water coming out of the high mountain areas in the Hunza area and in other areas that are mountain areas known for longevity. We can now duplicate that in your own home and have longevity coming out of your own tap. And bottled RO distilled is not the best. It will not hydrate the body. There's a couple things. We have structure of water. The water is a pentagonal structure. That's large, big clumps. And it's very hard to move them into the cell because the cell has very small, permeable walls. And it's not shown in any way to improve life other than keeping you alive. It accelerates your aging, and it's high in acid waste that build up. The metabolic functions actually decrease, and there's little capacity for that water to store any energy. It has little energy to give. You, how many of you get energy from drinking tap water or RO water? Uh -uh. Do you get energy from drinking microclustered, hexagonal, ionized water? Yes, amen, do you? A lot of energy because it holds energy. Little penetration of the nutrients into the cells. I can take half of the vitamins and minerals I used to take. How many of you have the same thing now that I drink hydrated, microclustered water because it gets into the cells? Nutrient absorption is more efficient and there's an inefficient absorption or um, getting rid of waste with the pentagonal water. Now the hexagonal structure of water is small clumps. It's easy to get into the cell. They improve life significantly. They slow down the aging. There's no acid waste buildup. The metabolic functions increase. I've actually noticed that when I drink this water, I tend to have a low thyroid, but when I drink the water, my thyroid starts working a whole lot better. Huge capacity of this hexagonal water to store energy. And it needs those folks, those very strong, solid medical grade plates 
to be able to make that kind of water for a lifetime. If you don't have that, you cannot keep producing that year in and year out. It is highly energizing to the cells. It gives rapid penetration into the cells of nutrients. It helps their absorption and it helps efficiently remove the waste. It contains powerful antioxidants. We call this microclustered hexagonal ionized water. And it has the negative hydrogen ion called the hydroxyl ion. Its water becomes alkaline, which helps our bodies move to the pH side of alkaline. It's super hydrating. You can run a, a very strong race. I can do a very strong workout where I'm jumping and moving and very much doing cardio and in the middle of it drink a whole glass of water and it doesn't stop me at all. Whereas I could never do that in the past. I had to do it before or after exercise. And it's, the ionized water is six times more hydrating than conventional water. Microclustered hexagonal ionic water scavenges free radicals. It breaks down the cells. The free radicals steal the molecules from the health tissue, healthy tissue. They create unstable or mutated cells. How do you think we get cancer, folks? Those are unhealthy mutated cells and free radicals are responsible for all disease. People come up to me and say, well, does it help this? Does it help this? Does it help this? Is it a degenerative disease? Meaning, did it happen by an accident? Did they get a hit on the head and it happened one day, it was there, and the next, the day before it wasn't there, and the next day it was there? That's not a degenerative disease. A degenerative disease comes on slowly. And Almost all the problems that we have today, of which we have myriads of names for, are degenerative and the water is what is responsible, number one, for moving those free radicals out of the body which are causing those things. Only the large solid plates hold the energy structure in the water to get into the cells. I had somebody tell me how they did an actual research study. They bought four or five of these other machines that have slotted plates, have mesh plates, and even some other kinds of plates, but they were not the high-grade medical solid plates. True to the research on hexagonal water, that if it's true hexagonal water, and if it's done properly with the proper electricity, the proper amount of square inches, enough on the plates to get the water split, it will hold, and that water held every single time way more than every single one of these other types of machines. And you can see the difference in the sizes. So the structure is important. And if it doesn't hold that structure long enough to get in your body or to stay in your body until it finishes its work, folks, it doesn't matter what it registers on the meter. If it can't hold it longer than more than a few hours and many hours, it's worthless. Microclustered hexagonal water and calcium. A lot of people know that calcium is very, very, very important. And the water actually helps you get your calcium and keep it in your cells. Hexagonal water will help you retain calcium. We start to lose calcium a lot under stress and under um, just life and exercise and just moving through the day. Mental and physical signs of calcium deficiency, they're rampant. Nervous tension, inability to relax, can't sleep at night, fatigue, not in proportion to the amount of work you do, restlessness, irritability, quick-tempered insomnia, spastic colon tooth decay, bone loss, um, mental depression, muscle spasms, PNS, PMS, menstrual cramps, and menopausal symptoms, all calcium deficiency. So you're losing calcium, you're either not getting enough, but when you start on the proper water, it starts to stay in your body and you actually produce uh, a better use of your calcium. Free radicals, you can see two molecules here and the one stealing from the other because it's positively charged and it